This week, JN1 is in Montenegro, where we're following the progress of a European Jewish Parliament delegation, which is in the country trying to foster closer ties with what is Europe's youngest independent state. European Jewish Parliament officials came to Montenegro, together with their European Jewish Union colleagues, as part of ongoing outreach efforts designed to improve bilateral relations with national governments throughout Europe. During their Montenegro visit, EJP leaders were officially received by Montenegrin President Filip Vujanovic. To mark the official visit, President Vujanovic was presented with a European Jewish Union Interfaith Award on behalf of EJU President Igor Kolomoisky. Delegates also met with the country's foreign minister, deputy prime minister and parliamentary speaker, as well as a range of regional leaders and city mayors. Tiny Montenegro, which regained its independence in 2006 following decades within federated Yugoslavian and Serbian states, is historically one of Europe's most multi-denominational countries. It has a long and proud history as a refuge against religious intolerance and oppression. As well as Orthodox Christian, Catholic and Muslim communities, Montenegro also boasts what is one of the continent's smallest Jewish communities. Speaking to JN1 following his meeting with European Jewish Parliament delegates, Montenegro President Vujanovic spoke of his pride in the country's pluralistic traditions and particularly Montenegro's role as a safe haven for Jews during the World War II Nazi Holocaust. It is so significant for us concerning our tradition, concerning our uh, anti-fascism, concerning uh, our position of state during the Second World War, uh, because uh, during that period, Montenegro uh, was country for protecting Jewish people, and we are so proud concerning it. During their visit, EJP leaders raised a number of key issues with local political leaders, including plans to construct a synagogue and Jewish cultural center in the Montenegrin capital, an ambitious initiative for which they received broad official support. Local Jewish community leaders lauded the visit, saying it had given them a chance to raise the profile of a community which is only now beginning to find its voice. Uh, this visit is a sign to the Montenegrin people and the government as well that our small community, because we are the smallest and the youngest community in the world, that we are not alone. Following the success of this groundbreaking visit, planning is already underway for an official EJP delegation to return to the country to expand cooperation in 2013. Meanwhile, European Jewish Parliament and European Jewish Union officials will continue their outreach program throughout Europe in the coming months. This is Peter Dickinson for JN1 in Montenegro.